what's going on YouTube welcome back to another video and I'm very excited about this one because it's time I finally have them in both boxes AWE exhaust for the ZR2 this is going to be the bash guard as they call it model so that it'll stay tucked up underneath similar to what I have now so let's go ahead and you can see I already tore one open some here but let's go ahead and unbox it so we see what we got right here on the top all the stuff we're gonna need to put it in and cherry flavored blow pop blow pop man that is amazing looking This is going to be awesome. All right, I'm going to kind of go through this kind of quick. And then actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to unbox it all and then I'll put it all back out and I'll be right back. All right, we're back. So I kind of went ahead and pre-laid it out roughly how it's going to go up underneath the truck. Make sure I had all the pieces here. And I will say it is nice. Um, they did a really good job labeling everything making sure that there's no way you can mess up the parts um, I'm gonna assume I need to pay attention uh, gonna want these drain ports down on one side or the other we'll get there whenever we get underneath the truck see which way it needs to set for it um, but I mean just right out the box very happy everything's labeled very nice um, nice collars a couple of washers uh, for the exhaust up underneath uh, to send you a little label here to scan your barcode for how you can put it on and I love the fact that we finally have something out that says ZR2 and AT4X so that's going to be great for everybody out there so I guess the next thing to do let's look up underneath here and we're going to have to uninstall the little shield bracket up there and then we'll just start taking this sucker apart. So let me go grab what tools I need and then we'll start working on this bad boy. All right, we're gonna try experiment one. Try to just cut through this and then pop it off. That was almost a stupid move on my part. Uh, hand me that grit, thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. Be careful pulling that out for me there, please. Okay. Sorry, camera. It didn't work as planned for you guys to be able to see that. So, let me uh, readjust so I can see too, so I can see what you're doing. Alright, we're going to go. I cut it. All right. So we're just gonna go up through the side here, guys, and I'm just gonna cut the exhaust all the way through, pull it all the way out, and then when we get it to the front, I'll do close-ups on the measurements that they require you to cut, and we'll go from there. And I'm not completely removing my tire. I figured uh, just lower it all the way to the ground should give us plenty of room. So I won't bore you guys with all that part. I'll just come back when it's time to do the measuring and cutting quick thing as we go along here as we're taking this exhaust out um, come up here on the top side it's a 13 millimeter um, loosen this bracket up and it's gonna loosen your exhaust up enough to where you can get a lot of play in it and it's gonna help you to 
get this out once I actually take this one here out. So, just a heads up. Alright. Time to do the first cut. Uh, we're going to cut side B first. It says two and three quarter inches from the lip here. So we're going to try to get it as straight as we can. Stay out there for me. Well, you don't want to drop it like I did. And then that one we'll have to measure over here and cut as well. Um, but since I'm already on this side, I'm just going to do this side first. So it says make sure that your measurements are accurate. Like I said, two and three quarters says to make these cuts as straight and flush as possible, or it can mess up your fitment. I would say worst case scenario, if you're scared, cut them a little long and then take an extra little bit off. Make them as straight as possible. I'm not going to annoy you not uh, annoy you guys with the sound of the saw. So I'll be back as soon as I get the both cuts made. All right, well, we got the cuts. Got the first initial piece on here. It looks so much better now that it's not all smashed down. Got the second piece attached here. Nothing is clamped completely down yet. Got them ran up flush. Um, oh, now I got a flush, there we go. And then now we're gonna put, we're to the little H pipe section here. We'll get the clamps on it. We'll run it on back down. And then I'll do a run over as soon as I get it all done. And then we'll get to the fire up. So we'll see you guys in just a minute. All right, guys, we're back. I just want to run through real quick and let you know that these ones up here in the front are different sizes. So these are actually a five eighths. All the other bracket, and they're actually a smaller trying to show you here hopefully two and a half inch clamps on the fronts every other one is a three inch clamp all the way back with a 15 millimeter uh, I will say most definitely don't tighten anything down until you're all the way to the back um, and then once I finish that out I just tighten it all from the back to the front We do have it completed. I am excited. We are gonna get to the fire ups here, but you can see the exhausts, they hang great. Oh, the screen went black. All right, set that right there, and then let's go get the first ever start out of the way.
you guys let me know in the comments below what you think if you like it uh absolutely impressed amazing amazing i will endorse this product any day of the week to anybody out there who uh is curious to know oh is it worth it yes it is and then i just brought you guys inside here roll the windows up so you can hear it very low in here it's not that loud at all um even when i get on it here a little bit i mean to me it's not bad some people may not like it but to me personally it's it's perfect um i'm very extremely happy with it uh so happy i'm thinking i'm thinking maybe my first giveaway um my wife's sitting beside me here so I, I might get killed after i tell her this but i really enjoy doing this i enjoy helping you guys out so if you stuck far this long pay attention as soon as i hit a thousand subscribers and this is no joke it's 100% free to subscribe. So, I mean, if you like what I'm doing here, it's free to subscribe. Just click subscribe. As soon as I hit 1,000 subscribers, everybody that is subscribed is entered. And I will do a randomized drawing of all my subscribers. And I am going to pay and ship a free AWE exhaust to that person. No joke. Out of my pocket. They don't endorse me. They don't pay me in any way, shape, or form. I'm going to do it, though. So as soon as I get a thousand, as soon as you guys get me there, we're gonna do it. I don't care who you are. I don't care if you've got a Dodge, a Chevy, a Hyundai, if they make them for that. Whatever it is, as long as it fits your vehicle, I will pay for it and ship it to you. Um, so, I mean, if you guys want an amazing exhaust that you've heard already, it's, it's amazing. My fuel mileage is gonna suck now, but I love it. Make sure you subscribe. If you like the video, please feel free to click like, leave a comment. If you don't like it, leave a shitty comment. I don't care. Um, but I appreciate you guys sticking till the end. And until next time, guys, be careful.